Hello learners, greetings of the day. In this video, we are going to talk how to solve numerical questions on ultrasonics. Ultrasonics is the branch of acoustics or we may say it is one form of sound uh, which is having high amount of frequency. Uh, I have already shared one video in which we have seen uh, what are the ultrasonic sound waves, what are their properties, how that waves are generated uh, and their applications. Here we are going to see the numerical questions related to the methods uh, with which we may produce the ultrasound. So first have some revision of our previous video. In that we have seen frequency of ultrasonic waves uh, can be calculated with the help of piezo in piezoelectric method with the formula f is equal to 1 upon 2t under root y by rho where uh, t is the thickness of the quartz crystal, y is the Young's modulus of the quartz and rho is the density of the quartz crystal. So this is one formula with which the frequency of the sound could be calculated the sound waves which are generated by using the piezoelectric method. Now what is piezoelectric method that I have already shared in my previous video. The link of that video I have provided in the description box. There is one another method with which we may uh, have the ultrasound generation that is nothing but magnetostriction method. And in magnetostriction method the formula which is used to calculate the frequency is nothing but f is equal to 1 upon 2l under root y by rho. Here the parameters are provi provided which are used in the formula. If you see two formulas related to piezoelectric method and magnetostriction method then you will find there is one little amount of difference in denominator here it is t and here if you see that is nothing but length. So in piezoelectric method the thickness of the quartz crystal is considered and in case of magnetostriction method we need to consider length of the ferromagnetic rod along with the Young's modulus and density of the material. Okay, So that's all about the piezoelectric method and magnetostriction method. Now let's see the numerical questions. The statement is provided here. It is said that uh, calculate the fundamental frequency of the quartz crystal. Uh, thickness is given as 1 millimeter and Young's modulus is provided 7.9 into 10 to the power 10 nanometer per square and density of the quartz crystal is uh, nothing but 2650 kg per meter cube. Now uh, as here it is mentioned that the quartz crystal is used for the generation of ultrasound so we need to use the formula related to piezoelectric method ok. So given data first write down that uh, Young's modulus is provided then density of the material is given th thickness is provided and it is asked to calculate frequency. As I have mentioned the formula that we are going to use over here is nothing but f is equal to 1 upon 2t under root y by rho ok. So this is the uh, formula related to the sound frequency in case of piezoelectric method. Now put the values into the formula f is equal to 1 upon 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by 7.9 of course in under root 7.9 into 10 to the power 10 divided by 2650. Have some calculations and you will get the answer f is equal to 2.733 megahertz. So this is the frequency which is generated in the piezoelectric method with the help of given parameters. So the final answer is the frequency of the quartz crystal is found to be 2.733 megahertz. So this is one of the numerical related to ultrasonics. Let's discuss another numerical question. 
uh, here it is said that calculate the natural frequency of pure iron rod of 40 millimeter length the density of the pure iron is 7.25 into 10 to the power 3 kilogram per meter cube and its Young's modulus is provided uh, and it is the question is asked can you use this in magnet restriction oscillator to produce the ultrasonic waves. So, first we need to see what amount of frequency is generated over here and then we need to clarify the whether the iron rod with given specifications could be used in the magnet restriction oscillator. So, let us see. First, here I have provided the given data. Now, the formula, of course, we need to use formula which is given for which is associated with magnet restriction method that is nothing but f is equal to 1 upon 2L under root y by rho. So, put the values into the formula, do the calculations and finally you will get the answer 49 kilohertz. As uh, of course, we need to mention that whether it could be used in magnet restriction method or not as frequency of the iron rod is 49 kilohertz we can use and of course, that frequency is greater than the frequency we are expecting. So, uh, the frequency of iron rod is 49 kilohertz. So, of course, we can use this rod to produce ultrasonic waves by magnet restriction method. So, that is the another question that we have seen. So, of course, uh, this uh, such kind of questions could be there uh, related to the magnetostriction method and piezoelectric method. If you are having any queries related to this, of course, you may post that in the comment box. Thank you for now. Thank you.